Request of uh, didn't bring my thing out here, but uh, if you're here, you're here to learn "Can't Live Without You." Uh, Matthias has always been one of my favorite guitar players. Matthias Jabs. Um, this is uh, the tuning was kind of all over when I was looking stuff up on YouTube. I found a lot of them that were a quarter step flat or a half step sharp, however you want to look at it. No, it'd be quarter step flat or a half step sharp from half step down. Never mind. Anyways, so I was looking through about four or five different ones and found a couple that were in standards, so that's the one I grabbed. Um, Rudolf Schenker and Matthias Jabs, great um, guitar duo. So um, what I did partway through in here was give you a mix of both, because one is just doing, you know, the... During the... So I filled it in the second time around combining them as two, but you can stick with the primary part. But anyways, let's jump in and do this. Some cool little things in here that are going on with some of these fillers. So you're starting, it's really simple. Um, if you're new to palm muting, this is a great way to introduce yourself to palm muting. Palm mute the open A. Keep your, you know, your, this part of your palm right in front of the bridge. If you go too far up, even a half inch, man, you'll choke the note out. So get that good chunk. And um, you're just going to downstroke that's 32 times after the 32nd time you know think you know you may have to think kind of like math 8 times 4 is 32 so you can do them in chunks of 8 times 4 and then Klaus Meine comes in with the 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 4 and then the main hook comes in. So you're going to basically just keep riding out that open A palm muted until um, that secondary guitar comes in. So it starts out just very simple. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now, this next part, it's different than I thought. It's weird because them being my favorite band for a lot of years in high school, or one of my faves, I was always playing it here. I don't know why I thought it was that until just now when I figured it out. Um, it's actually going 7G, 6B, 
to um, 6G5B. Experiment with your fingering that you want. You could do it like this, or you can use different combinations. Um, so I'm going to show you it as the way they recorded it instead of combining the two. If you want to combine the two, you can come back around after you have the beat of this part, fill in the breaks with palm muted open A strings. That's all you would have to do. So we'll have 7, 6, G, B to 6, 5, G, B. So we have, think of the vocals, can't live, can't live without you, can't live. That's basically what's happening. And a fret hand mute here, just on the G and B. So watch, copy this. And then back to. So it went back and forth there two times on the end. But basically, it's back and forth four times, but we have the fret hand muting coming in after the second time through, right? And then you just break. Like I said, if you want to fill in that part, you're going to have to go. You know, you can even take it a step further and put palm muted open A's in between these. You know what I mean? You can throw them in there too. But if you want to stick true to the way it was recorded, that's how you'd want to do it with those pauses. Your call. Okay, so when it comes out of it, um, the next thing that you would play for this guitar part, which I think is Matthias's part, actually I know it is, um, you'll be going. So there's some cool tapping here you're going to want to do with your middle finger coming up. It's starting with this A5 power chord, open A, 2D, you're going to go, you're going to play it twice, rest in between those. And then this part, 4G, and uh, you're going to throw a little bit of pinch harmonic on this if you can. Back it with a couple fingers, here's why. We're going to be needing this second fret off the G as well. So I stick this down to help with this bend of a whole step. Bend release, pull off to two, pull off to open. Be careful when you're pulling off that you don't go. So you'll want to catch it on the below string when you're doing these techniques, these pull off. So um, that's really the hook of this part, the verse. And that's going to be repeating. So we have. You'll do three of them, but the third one is you'll go back to the 4G, bend it, a whole step, take your middle finger, and tap the 9G. You'll tap. Pull it off. You still have this a whole step up. My sleeve keeps it. Hold on here. So when you're when you're doing the tap with your middle finger, make sure that you're still holding the bend at a whole step because you have to pull off back to that. So I'm and then release it after the pull off. Right. Okay, then um, do it again. This time, on the third one, we'll go. Instead of tapping the 9G, we're going to tap the 12G, but that's, you don't release it, you don't pull off. So. Alright. Then you're back into this part that you learned. But in between now, we're going to do some of Matthias's notorious filler riffs. So we'll go. And he did a lot. He's a great melodic player as well as a shredder. 
but um, a lot of pinch harmonics and, and partial bends with these quarter step bends. Start on 7G. This is just taken from uh, A minor pentatonic. <laughs> Kind of Eddie Van Halen sounding. 7G, pinch, bend, release, pull off to 5. 7, 5D. And then 7, 6, 5, 3 on the A string, but quarter step bend, the 3A. Actually, bend it a half step, I think. And there's pinches sporadically through that whole thing. And a little partial bends. Okay, the next one comes through, so you're going to go right back into this. And these are a little tricky if you haven't done them. Um, it's the seventh fret on the G and B. You're going to want to bar that with the third finger, back it with a couple fingers on fret six and five. Once again, this will work to your advantage because we're going to need the fifth fret on the G and B in a second. So, uh, but you're going to need these to help bend it. A lot of times, when this is a new thing for guitar players, the B string will drop out underneath that finger. So you got to have a good hold, and these fingers should help that as you're bending. So you're going to go. So it's a bend, pick. And you're going to repeat that. So. Then 7D, that's a weird transition to come off of the bar with the third finger, kind of knuckle shift it up to 7D. And then 5 5 GB with your index. And then 7 7 GB third finger. So you can break it into groups. That would be your secondary group from this riff. Right? So you have slow down. And if this first finger cramp you know cramps in here, don't worry about it. As long as you get it back over here. These are primarily there for support for the seventh fret. Think of it that way. You can always scoot it over if it's a little bit off, you know, into fret six. So and then you're back to this. <clears throat> Open G. And then take the 5G with your third finger, slide it to 7. It's like the old Chuck Berry riff, but he's just playing it fast. So you're going to bend and then go down up on 5-5, five, five, E and B. And then do that four times, but start just from the seventh fret off the G string with your bend. So the bulk of that little phrase is just repeated. Okay, so we have. Missed it. Okay, and then your last one. So you go back to the hook. And that's like the first one, except he jumps into it a little bit sooner. He, he bends it, and then he catches the pinch harmonic again once he's up there. And then the rest is the same as the first one. Alright, so then you're back into the... Um, um, this part. Now this one, um, you know, we went through the whole... That's the same as the first time around. The next one's slightly different. He cuts uh, some of the rhythmic part out. He'll go... So it'll only go two times through because he's filling that gap with, with some extra length here in the tapping part, which that would be the same start. See what I did there? So you'll tap the nine, release, or pull off, release, spin it back up. Oops, that sounded bad. All right, so that's how he ends that one. Um, a couple other parts that I'll show you, because he goes back into the chorus with some different riffs, like he'll throw in. 
some little different runs, but I want to get you through a good chunk of the rhythm here. So the next rhythm part that comes up is this. And it's mainly power chords. 5, 7, A, D. Twice. Go to 3, 5 once. And back to 5, 7 once. So it's D, D, C, D. You can down strum all that. And then open A, 3A, kind of uh, quarter step in the 3A, and then open A again, 3E, quarter step bend into this open A, 2D power chord. So, that's that part, that's going to go three times. three times then you go into this open position G major three two open open three three and it's all six strings four five six seven eight into open A two D and then the secondary solo where Matisse is doing this but I'm showing you the rhythm behind that which is open A two D 5 E A, 1 3 E A, and then 0 1, 0 1, and then 3 E 5 A, and just repeat it. So, there you go. That's really most of the rhythm, and you got a touch of some of Matias' solos in there. Um, dude, I'm sorry I forgot what your name was, or girl. I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. I try to keep these shout-outs coming to you guys. My email is mike at rockinguitarlessons.com. If you have any questions, I try to uh, stay involved, man, to, to help you guys through with any questions. Um, I teach privately on Skype, guitar and bass. My wife teaches vocals. And I also offer CBT lessons, custom video tablature lessons, which are in-depth, man. They cover a big, broad, broad spectrum of whatever song you want, whatever parts you want, and it's all tabbed out by hand, transcribed by ear, subgrouped, all that good stuff. And um, then I shoot a video as well, so you get the tabs on the video. For more information on that, go to my website, rockinguitarlessons.com, and click on the Skype Lessons tab or the CBT Lessons tab. They're right next to each other, and there's a video tutorial discussing both of those elements and my email once again is mike at rockinguitarlessons.com be sure to fill out the contact information while you're there until next time i'm mike gross doing some scorpions going old school on you from my personal favorite album from them blackout see you guys later